Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is the agenda of the regular uh, board meeting, uh, President and Board of Trustees, but it's in Rylance County, Illinois. And the day is March 26, 2024. Um, at this time, uh, I will ask the uh, clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Cap? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Here. Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Here. Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Thank you, Mr. Trustee. Well, the further will be changed with the allegiance and to the need of Trustee Claybrook. of the minutes that was held on uh, March 12, 2024, or any correction to the minutes? Mm -hmm. If there are no corrections, I'll be made to the minutes. I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes of March 12, 2024. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. The motion to approve by Trustee Cap to approve the minutes. Do we have a second, please? A second. And a second by Trustee Hodges. Mm -hmm. so. Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Uh, Mr. Patterson, thank you. Uh, before we open the meeting to the public, if you have anything to address to the board, you would just uh, stand up and give us your name and your reason for addressing the board. And as required by state law, now you are not required to give your address anymore. If you'd like to give it, it's left up to you, but it's not mandatory. So just give us your name and your reason for addressing the board. Um, Please limit your comments to three minutes, please. I'll ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. To make a motion to open the meeting to the public. A motion on floor by Trustee Claybrook. Can we have a second? Second. A second by Trustee Richardson. Will take the roll? Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. All right. Uh, thank you, motion passed. So meeting is now open to the public. So is there any public or concerns or comment? Definitely. Uh, Josephine, uh, now I'd like to know when we're going to have bulk pickup or shredding. Um, well, yeah, no date has been decided on the shredding. Um, th there's some ideas out there that we still are looking at. As far as the bulk pickup, we don't really have a bulk pickup per se. Um, if there's uh, the item that you need to put out, um, mm -hmm. you can just kind of uh, feed them into the garbage, maybe little by little, till you get rid of them. But as far as a, a bulk pickup, then we don't really have bulk pickup anymore. Didn't they say they would pick up one item every week? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so yeah. you put on one item every week. Yeah. And the shredding? And the shredding, I'll have to get back with you on that because I think some other agencies, I believe uh, Senator mm -hmm. Sims' office has. Uh, Okay. Set up a day. I can't recall what it is right now, but it's kind of like maybe a couple of months from now. Well, so, South Suburban is yeah, I was going to say South Suburban. And, oh. Yeah, South Suburban. <laughs> yeah, this is from uh, South Suburban uh, College. And um, they take household recycling, uh, paper, plastic bottles, and containers, um, also electronics and small appliances, clothing, and textiles. Styrofoam, and also they are um, now accepting the iPads uh, responders. And uh, for more information, um, you can contact uh, South Suburban College 708 596 2000, extension 2442. Uh, um, they don't, what they don't accept is light bulbs, plastic bags, batteries, solid soil items, and um, documents for shredding. And, um, if you want this, Ms. Ross, you can have it. But, um, oh, thank you. It's a uh, Center for Hard to Cycle Materials, South Suburban College. Mm -hmm. uh, new hours every Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., every Thursday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., um, second and fourth Saturday, every month, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. You can have thank this. You. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your comments and that information. Are there any 
other public comments? Uh, I want to know if your garbage can is torn up by the animals in the alley. How do you get another one? Well, they have to come from Homewood. Is there a problem with yours? Is that what you're saying? Your mine is shot. Them critters ate all of the top of my garbage can off just about. And the other one is on the side. They ate that too. <laughs> I put food in my garbage can. Plenty of it. <laughs> you probably feed them to me like the trustee. You're right. You know, it's too good. You put too much good stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I put dog food in mine and they don't mess with toy. mine. You gotta put some dog food in It's not torn up. Theirs is not. They stay away from them. And then we'll take a look at it for you. Okay. They stay away from what now? If you put a little dog poop in it, they don't Oh, I don't have a dog. I wouldn't do that. No. Go pick some up from your neighbors and throw it in. No, I don't think so. You can pick it up for me. I'll bring you some if you want. No, thank you. You can keep it. I'll see you from the wrong way. I can pick it up in my yard, put it in your garbage can, and keep them away. Uh, Maria Rosales, uh, in last meeting you said that you don't always invite the new cops that we're hiring so that they can catch us doing the crime, but I was just thinking, wouldn't it be safer if the residents know the cop or get to know the cop to keep the Burnham safer? Wouldn't it be more convenient to uh, allow us to meet them before hiring them or when hired? Well, uh, we don't have a, a problem with you uh, meeting the cops and, uh, and, and you certainly will meet them at a certain time and you know there are two of them standing in the back door right now and if, um, um, if that particular cop had been on duty tonight and then, uh, then he would have been at the meeting as well. So. It's not the fact that we are trying to keep it from the public. It's just the fact that we just don't advertise everything, like I said. And we had an issue to come up with some uh, cameras, you know, which I'm not going to give the specific information. I mean, but there's a loop. I mean, there's a loop that will, I mean, that will capture some of the things that it needs to capture. So that's all I'm going to say. And uh, so, like I said then, and I'll say again now, that. You know, some people feel, oh, well, I haven't seen the police. I don't see the police. I haven't seen them. But the police are watching some people. They don't know they're watching. And that's all I'm going to say. Are there any other public comments? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the public. There's a motion to close by Trustee Richmond. Can we have a second, please? A second. And second by Trustee Hardy with a clear call of the roll. Trustee Cash. Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. That motion passed. Thank you. Uh, we are um, in the process of promoting uh, to build a veteran a memorial. I mean, for the, um, for the people that served in various wars, or the one that's still serving, but um, whatnot. So, and Trustee Rich will probably give a more thorough report once she gets to that. Once we get to her committee, since she's on the committee. So, and we appreciate the people's support for that, and she'll give you the details. Also, we um, will be putting out in the uh, newsletter next week that we're still going to be repairing some more additional sidewalks. I mean, this year, as we may not be able to do all of them, but we will continue to do that until we get them all done. And we also ask continuously. If the people would not use rock salt on the sidewalk, because that eats the sidewalks up. And some people over the last few years, I and mean, we put in new sidewalks at the property, and the rock salt has kind of eroded it. Now, um, so we will not be able to go back and replace it again. I mean, when it's new sidewalk, that's really it. Um, so we just ask the people not to use rock salt on the sidewalks. Thank you. Uh, Clerk Luce. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Um, this Friday, March 29th, we will be closing the office at 12. Yeah, <coughs> or earlier than usual. And I'll um, <coughs> thank you, Clark Lewis, for your, your report, your information. Public education and health safety and welfare. Does anyone have on that? Anything to report to us? 
No, I would like to ask for a, a minute of silence for the uh, bridge collapse in uh, Baltimore for the this missing is, people. This is really the wrong time for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll save it to the end of the agenda. Right, Mayor? No. The memorial section. Oh yeah, uh, I'm excited to announce. Oh, good evening, Ron. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm excited. Are you doing park recreation now? No, no, no. I didn't want to be here. Oh no, no, no. Okay, no, not right now. And the public works and building uh, trust be Clay Brooks. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we've been out uh, public works, you know, doing the same thing, spring cleaning. Since the uh, no snow on the ground, we can see the paper more. And uh, and then half of my report was this already, so that's all I have. I mean, ordinance resolution and plan, Trustee Garcia, uh, Trustee Campbell, you picked it. I think I'll let you uh, discussion of consideration of and taking action approve or not approve what resolution number 2024-R-002 a resolution approving and authorizing the execution of a second amendment of an agreement between the JNT Group of Illinois LLC, a limited liability corporation making amendments to certain redevelopment agreements dated March 28, 2019. Hey and memorandum dated July 1st, 2023 in the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. So the reason it was necessary to amend the agreement is that um, um, one of the properties uh, had, um, I mean, had had some rehab work on it and I mean, a new roof put on the house, a new roof put on the garage on Hoxton, and that could have made, uh, I believe, kind of disqualified it as far as uh, being abandoned and left and, and that sort of thing. And the other one um, had some extended uh, fire damage that the uh, developer had some reservations about. Did you, also, uh, did you have anything you would like to add? Um, I feel some blocks and that's pretty much it. Um, usually the properties um, in the agreement are abandoned, two years tax delinquent, and that property uh, seems after four years, the owner put a new roof on when there was a hole in the roof, so we're just doing an amendment to the agreement. All right, thank you. Are there any uh, questions from the board? Is that 141 2057 across from the wire mill? That was one of them. That's where that is. That's a hard sale. Right. I mean, that's a great burden that has been left on the village. I mean, a great burden. Okay. Oh, make, so I'd like to make a motion to approve resolution number uh, 2024 R-002, a resolution approving and authorizing the execution of a second amendment of an agreement between the JNT Group of Illinois LLC, a limited liability corporation making amendment, amendments to a certain redevelopment agreement dated May 28, 2019, and a memorandum dated July 1, 2023, in the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. So that was a motion on the floor uh, um, by Trustee Cap to approve this resolution, uh, 2024-0002. So could we have a second, please? I second it. It's second by Trustee Hardy with Clark Takeaway. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayford? Yes. All right, motion passed, thank you. Uh, finance, Trustee Cap. I just have one thing and it's a little out of place. But I made the mistake of inviting the North Township trustee to our meeting, and I gave them the wrong date, which was Monday at 11 o'clock, and they showed up. So, and they will come to the next one, but it was my mistake, or my calendar's mistake. So they did leave something for me to give to Carmela, so I want to make sure she gets it. And I, it was totally my mistake, or my phone calendar's mistake. And she only came from home and so she wasn't so mad like downtown Hammond. She didn't have to drive like 10 miles or something. But she was very understanding, so that's kind of all I have. Okay, uh, uh, thank you, Trustee Cap. Uh, Public Utilities, Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I don't have anything on the children here, but uh, I will speak about the 
veterans fundraiser that we had Saturday. Uh, we raised about eight hundred and forty something dollars on the taco dinner sale and two hundred on our brick sale. So it's coming along, it's coming along. Yeah. Well, you know. And and we do not have a, a uh, <coughs> property or building, you know, that we could invite everybody at the same time. <laughs> so um, when we have something like that. We probably would have it in different times. So the people that came the first time, I mean, may not come the second time. So we always try to include everyone and never exclude anyone. So how was the crowd? Was it overcrowded or no? It was pretty good coming it in. It was and a out. nice crowd, but it was uh, you could take it to go or you could sit and eat. There was room for everybody to sit. Mm -hmm. oh, then you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. We're just working on our next fundraiser. But our goal is to try to have the memorial built by uh, Veterans Day in November. Okay, well, thank you, Trustee Richardson. Uh, uh, Park and Recreation, Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, so I'm excited, I'm excited that we have our uh, annual Easter egg hunt for the little ones this Saturday at 12 o'clock. Um, it's going to be at Burnham Park. It's on the corner of Green Bay Hunt 38th place. And uh, you're more than welcome to come by. We have plenty of eggs for the kids, plenty of candy uh, items and different things for the kids. Uh, if you want to come out, even adults, you come out, you can, you know, yeah, so be part of the situation. So it's this Saturday at 12 o'clock. And I, I'm also looking for volunteers. So you want to come by and volunteer to drop some of the eggs, you're more than welcome to come by. Saturday at 12 o'clock. Thank you. And Jack, if you like to bring some potato pies, they'll be <laughs> Okay, do we have any presentation of petitions? Do we have any communication on board? And we're asking about the thing from here. Carmel, and that's your time. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> yes, I would like to thank you, silence for the uh, victims of the Baltimore Bridge collapse today. Well, it happened early this morning. Did they ever say if anybody else was on the bridge besides those workers? I think they closed the search. Uh, but they considered the, those people were dead. But they, those were the people that you were patching that potholes? There was eight yeah, of and it was two a dump found, truck and a one Nissan. Right. right. But okay. then later, they said six, 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 six of them. Six six but the public they works guys them. that were on the eight of them on the bridge, right. two of them survived. Yeah. yeah, they were rescued. We don't know. Out of the water. Right. No, they're good. The second one was sent home from the hospital already. Right. Yeah. The six are deceased, so they closed oh, so the search. They were the ones patching potholes. Right. Because when yeah. you watch the video, you see the yellow lights of the dump truck. Yep. Right? Yeah. 185 feet. Right? Mm. I'm surprised those two made it. They survived. Thank you. Thank you for the update. Okay. Uh, do we do the memorial? Do we actually, where we start? Do we do that? You go ahead. You quite heard No, you go ahead. Do we do the memorial? Yeah. If you have something you want to No, I don't have nothing. If I said, did we actually? Carmella just did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, but you have something else to add. No, I just never got a chance to actually do it. Right, I have something to talk about. I, I attended the fundraiser for Honor Fight Chicago on Saturday. Their, their biggest fundraiser of the year is a hockey game where the Chicago police play, pay, not play against the FBI. And the FBI <coughs> goaltender was terrible. The score ended up 9 to nothing. But my DAV chapter... Uh, presented a check. I presented a check to them for a thousand dollars that we raised for them. So that, that's where I was. I have pictures if you don't believe me. <laughs> I have pictures with a big check, like a great big check. Well, if I had been the FBI, their bartender was terrible. He knocked one in his own neck. If I had been a member of the FBI, maybe he would have arrested <laughs> Okay, okay. And the unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Do we have any new business? Mm -hmm. And I'll have some motion to adjourn. Can we make a motion to adjourn. And the motion on public by Trustee Clay motion to adjourn. Can we have a second? I second. Second by Trustee Hardy. We're trying to take the roll. Trustee Cap. 
Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Grant? No, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Trustee mm -hmm. Richardson? Yes. Trustee Quaker? Yes. Uh, motion passed. Meeting adjourned. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm.